In this video, we will be demonstrating a very amusing tool that I have found on GitHub which can be used to potentially bypass UAC. This tool is called Force Admin as shown in the screen. It will basically try to bypass UAC by bombing UAC prompts at the end user and hoping that the end user victim will eventually click on yes successfully bypassing UAC. This can be useful when all of your UAC bypasses are being detected and blocked by the endpoint security solution and you have no way of bypassing UAC. I can see this technique being successful if your end user victim is not technical enough to understand the implications of clicking yes on the UAC prompt. With that being said, let's get started. We will not be going through the basics of UAC. If you need help on that, it is recommended that you have a look at one of my previous video first. This will cover the basics of UAC on Windows systems. The link to the video will be provided in the video's description so be sure to check it out. Let's follow the instructions provided on the GitHub repository to get this tool running. Let's git clone the repository and compile it. Awesome, there is no compilation errors. Let's execute the force admin compiled binary and follow the instructions. Oh no, Windows Defender detection. Let's try to bypass it. This seems to be an easy static detection as there is no malicious payload embedded into the source code. Let's try to modify the source manually and see if we can bypass it. Okay, let's try again. I think it should be the banner. Let's remove it completely. Awesome, it worked now. We were able to bypass Windows Defender. Let's continue with the demonstration by executing the compound binary. Let's name the output file to be payload.exe. This is the command that we want to execute in high integrity. This should be your malware payload. For this demonstration, let's leave this as system info and pause. Let's not configure the PowerShell command and leave it as default. Awesome, the payload.exe is generated. Let's execute it. This is hilarious. Clicking on no and clicking on X to close the UAC prompt really doesn't stop it at all. This is not really nice though. As shown in the screen, although the PowerShell console is being pushed to the background, it is still showing up in the taskbar over here. We can just click on it and close the PowerShell console and this will stop the UAC prompt. Now, what can we do to improve this? Let's take a look at the exact PowerShell command that is being executed by this force admin binary. Let's throw the compout payload.exe into dnspy and take a look. It's an extremely small program with only one line of code. This is the command that the payload is executing. This is just a wow loop. So, how can we improve the program such that the end user victim will have no way of closing the PowerShell console that is executing the UAC prompt? Chat GPT to the rescue. I have already done this before, so I am showing you guys the conversation and prompt that I have entered to get Chat GPT to solve this. First, the entire command is pasted into ChatGPT. ChatGPT was able to quickly analyze it perfectly and broke down the command for us, explaining to us what the command does. Next is the problem that we are facing. What we want is basically to have no visible window completely, not even in the taskbar. And of course, ChatGPT is able to solve it. ChatGPT recommended to create a VBS script using WScript shell this will allow the entire windows to be hidden completely. We can then execute the VBS script with the C script binary, which is available by default on Windows systems. 
the PowerShell window should be hidden entirely, not even showing up in the taskbar. Let's see this in action. This is awesome man, look, there is no way your end user victim can close out this UAC prompt. Eventually, your victim will click on yes and you will have your payload executed in high integrity, bypassing UAC. Of course, this is provided if your victim is not technical enough to understand the impact. Well, to be fair, if your victim is technical enough, this can be closed using task manager and looking for the PowerShell process. We can kill off the process, ending the UAC prompt loop. Let's open up Process Hacker and look at the CMD that is open, as expected. After clicking on Yes on the UAC prompt, the CMD that is responsible for executing the commands is executed in high integrity. This is awesome. Alright guys, this is it to this video. Just sharing this interesting UAC bypass tool that I have encountered on GitHub. I have recently created a free phishing course available on Udemy. This phishing course is completely free and it is only about 30 minutes long. Several phishing techniques and popular tools such as GoFish is demonstrated in the course. The link to the free course will be available in the video's description. All of the references used will be provided in the video's description as well, so be sure to check it all out. Please help to like the video and subscribe to the channel. It will really help out the channel a lot. Thanks all, I appreciate it. I will see you all soon in the next one. Bye.